pantyhose and control top panties all in one. Because oil of Olay helps replenish fluids your skin once knew. Each greaseless drop eases dryness to revive the radiant look he loves. Oil of Olay. It can help you look younger, too. cereal without milk. Uh -huh. Here, try a bowl. Uh -huh. Good morning, Clive. Good morning to you. Thanks for being patient, everyone. Traffic was murder this morning. Why don't we get right to this week's assignment? As you know from the headlines, America's own storybook princess is back in town. They're here to boost their country's economy by promoting American tourism and give Glitter a chance as an exclusive interview with an old friend. Right, Kate? Yes. The princess and I roomed together in college when she was just plain Lisa Michael. You uh, roomed with the princess. Oh, I haven't seen her in years. However, this came in the mail today. It's an invitation to a reception at the consulate tonight. You want to go? Uh, you know, I hate being entertained by royalty. Now I have to ask him up to my place. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Terry and Paul Davis. Oh, yeah. Their exercise video is breaking all kinds of sales records, and so is their new gym. It's easy to see why. Yeah, their methods are apparently uh, remarkably effective and expensive. They claim to have a unique training system. The body makers program, huh? Computerized diets, fancy machines. You, too, can get a great body overnight? Sure. It's a unique program, all right, for cashing in on a very lucrative market. Now, I think they're phony as hell, and we'd like a chance to prove it. Great to see such spirited attitudes. This one's yours. Well, I would just like to go on record that uh, this is not exactly my kind of story. Thank you. Oh, come on, Sam. Lisa Michaels is living every girl's fantasy. Well, four years ago, that was a story. Now it's just a fashion layout. This is no job for a princess. Oh, and it is a job for a prince? Honestly, Alex, I can put on a necklace. Hmm. Perfection. It's magnificent. <laughs> I was not speaking of the necklace. You're as beautiful still as you were the night I proposed. What are we doing after the reception tonight? After? We have drinks with the senator, then we're having a presentation of the plans for the new consulate, and then a briefing session for tomorrow at the press conference. Why don't we do something daring, spur of the moment? Let's forget about all of this and drive up the coast to Malibu. You're joking. No. <laughs> no. You're going to chat with the senator at the reception. You can review the new plans any time. And you don't need a briefing to score points at a press conference. Remember our first date in Malibu, that restaurant that we loved? Mm -hmm. We could get the same table. My darling. Four years married and you still do not understand affairs of state. We will have the time. Considering the fragile condition of our economy, I mean, tonight's reception is very important. I know, very important. To you, to me, to the three million people to whom we dedicate our lives. Spoken like a true princess. Tired princess, Alex. This is be... Come in, please. It is time, your highness. Excuse me. 
I'm here to see Clive Rich. Is he expecting you? Uh, no, but I'm an old friend. Tell him Frank Mullins is here. I'm, I'm sure he'll see me. Okay, I'll check. That's it. Just, yeah. Now, just relax. Do not move unless... No, no. Stay. Stay. And I think this might be the right one. No, no, no. Stay. Please stay. We'll go to the aquarium later. <laughs> oh. Clive Richland, wildlife photographer. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Oh. Look, much more of this love therapy and I'll need a shrink. Who? There's a Frank Mullins here to see you. Frank Mullins? Sure, sure. Oh, I'd love to see him right away. Uh, oh, I can't. I, I, I've got a, uh, one of Hardwick's killer deadlines. Ask him if he can come around sometime tomorrow. Okay. Um, Mr. Mullins, Mr. Richland is tied up in a photo session right now, but he could see you tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. Someone? You, I think. I'm Pete Bozak, Twitter magazine. And you're Terry Davis. I've seen your exercise tape. Your office said you'd be by. Come on. I'll take you on a tour. Great. We have all state-of-the-art equipment. The machines on both sides are based on the theory of water resistance. That way you can adjust the weights while you're working out. Looks like uh, some of your clients are a bit overworked. <sighs> New members do give that impression. The body makers program is demanding at first, but the results are worth it. And now we come to our popular aerobics center. Ah, a class in progress. The uh, classes are only a part of the total picture here. You can see what our program's done for Paul. You know, I can't picture this guy as a 97 pound weakling at all. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. Paul Davis. Hi, Pete Bozak, Twitter Magazine. Yeah. Uh, your system's done quite a bit for Terry, don't you think? Uh, yeah. I'd say something has done a great deal for Terry. <laughs> you know, frankly, one of these places would be great if you were willing to spend your entire life here working out. Oh, not with our system. See, that's the whole beauty of it. Half an hour a day for the first week, then you taper off to 20 minutes twice a week. See you later. So long. Of course, that's 20 minutes twice a week, plus the body makers program. The results are measurable and immediate. We guarantee it. High potency vitamin supplements to rebuild the cells our program tears down. Your complimentary supply for when you join the program. I would love to put you through a workout. Well, thank you. I'll, um, I'll think about it. Ladies and gentlemen, their royal highnesses, Prince Alexander and Princess Lisa. That's Lisa Michaels, huh? She looked like that in college? No, the tiara's new. Please, Alex. We'll discuss it later. We're running out of leaders. Well, I'd say the girl from Des Moines makes a spectacular princess. I'd say they make the perfect fairy tale couple. Uh, we are indeed excited about seeing your collection. Thursday at five, Your Highness. Kate, is that you? Yes. Oh. Lisa? Alex, this is Kate Hardwick that I've told you so much about. Oh. It's Kate Simpson now. Are you married? No, professional. This is my partner, Sam Dillon. Your Highness. It's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Mr. Dillon, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, you and Miss Simpson are with Glitter Magazine, I believe. Uh, yes. Would you excuse us? Uh, uh, we're certainly looking forward to the opportunity to uh, interview you. I, too. I'm anticipating such a meeting. Tomorrow morning at 11, sir. Well, I guess if it's on the schedule, it must be official, huh? Well, Mr. Dillon, I'm afraid we'll live in the schedule. I understand. Oh, it's so good to see a familiar face. Oh, Kate, you don't know. Oh, it's good to see you too, Liz. Uh, Princess, I, I don't know.
know what to call you. Lisa, please, just Lisa. I haven't heard my own name in so long. It's always Princess or Your Highness. Or... What's the matter, Cinderella? The glass slipper's a little too tight. It's no joke, Kate. I have to get away. Get away? Of course, we'd like to approach the story from a uh, personal angle, but we'll certainly be more than happy to deal with the issues that you're concerned about. Uh, I especially... beg your pardon. Yes, sir. Uh, it's time for your welcoming speech, Your Highness. <laughs> The schedule intrudes once more. Yes. Please summon my wife. I regret I cannot. You cannot? She seems to have gone. She was visiting Paris. He was living there. Her French wasn't so good. No. He didn't even notice. She lives there. Because passion is a common language. I'm trying to tell you I'm in love with you. Until September, it will make you believe in love. Until September, rated R. Starts Friday. Check newspapers for a theater near you. Burger King asks, does a burger fixed to your taste really wet your... Would extra mayo and no ketchup really hit the... Does the thought of no onion but double the pickle make your mouth... Would a burger with lettuce and tomato make your taste buds... Don't you think you should have your burger your way? Then come to Burger King. Go someplace else and you're probably missing the... How do I keep my perm soft without relaxing the curl? Permasoft. How do I keep my perm soft without relaxing the curl? Permasoft. Permasoft shampoo and conditioner, specially formulated to soften permed hair without relaxing the curl. With special moisturizers that add softness and shine, plus texturizers that keep curls from drooping, so your perm lasts longer. Permasoft. Softens permed hair without relaxing the curl. Where's the plan, Mr. Reagan? Who's going to pay for your deficits? In your first term, you cut aid to seniors, the unemployed, students, and the disabled. Where are your cuts this time, Mr. Reagan? You gave tax breaks to the rich and to profitable corporations, then signed one of the biggest tax increases in history. Who gets the tax breaks this time, Mr. Reagan? Mr. Mondale has told us his plan to reduce your deficits. Where's your plan? Level with us. Mondale Ferraro, they're fighting for your future. Saturday's a night for love. First, at a special time. Let's get them, girl! Two guys crash an all-girl cruise to Alaska as the love boat shows two new faces for the new season. Then, he's a private investigator of sorts. Can you help me find him? The kind will risk it all. How about one cut of the cards? When love is the reward. Tony Franciosa, the finder of lost loves. A special 90-minute love boat and the premiere of Finder of Lost Loves. All starting at 8, 7 Central, Saturday. You've got a castle, a beach house, a ski chalet, a prince for a husband, and all you can think about is... Don't you realize we don't even have a word for banana splits in our country? Lisa. Uh, do you remember those pig outs at Chelsea's on Friday night after five days of trying to master psychology and Greek? Yeah, I sure do. And I also remember a girl who, who wrote to me four years ago to say that she was stepping into a fairy tale kingdom. Lisa, what's the problem? I love Alex. I really do. But the women's movement isn't scheduled there for at least two centuries. I'm just decoration in his life. Something to be trotted out on public display. You must have some time alone. Occasionally, yes. Alex and I and the bodyguards. They're behind us on our walks. They're besides us at the theaters. I wouldn't be surprised to wake up one morning to find them in bed with us. I... I can't take it anymore. Oh, 
I guess Sam got my message. Listen, if I'm not back in two minutes, notify my next of kin. Sam? Will you tell me what the devil is going on? Do you realize there's an entire consulate in an uproar over there? Wait, Sam, now, will you lower your voice and listen to me? Now, Lisa's marriage is suffocating. She needs some time alone to think things out, away from the prince and the guards and Kate, the servants. this is not worth an international incident. You Please, cannot... Sam. She's my friend. Will you trust me? tell you? I had to. I, uh, I really think you should call your husband. He's very worried. If he's worried about anything, he's worried about his schedule. I'm sorry. You're right. I should call. Oh. oh. This is very embarrassing. May I borrow a dime? Oh, sure. <laughs> You have been away for a while, haven't you? Phone calls are 20 cents now. Oh. Well, go ahead. I know you're dying to. You have my permission. What? up yesterday, okay? I want you to get them to a lab, tell them to mark it rush, and then get me the analysis results as soon as possible, okay? Got it. What are they? That's why I'm sending it to a lab. <laughs> In the mood for a visitor? Oh. Hi. <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? I wanted to see where Kate works, and while I was here... Uh, come in, come in. Uh, welcome. Thank you. You uh, slept okay? Oh, yes. Kate's apartment's very comfortable. Okay. So this is where it all happened. What? Oh, uh, yeah, well, the writing, anyway. <laughs> oh, you know, you can tell a lot about a man by the books on his shelf. Uh-oh, I guess I'm in trouble, huh? Uh, exactly what can you tell about me? Oh, you're intelligent. And concerned. And disorganized. A uh, good guess, huh? And a romantic love's forbidden fire. Love's forbidden fire? Oh, that. That's uh, research I was doing on a piece about the new wave of romantic fiction. Uh, I didn't even know it was still on the shelf. You don't have to be embarrassed. Come on. <laughs> it really was just research. Anne loved Sebastian with the deepest part of her soul. Mm. But he was a king, and she, the daughter of a school teacher. <laughs> could it ever work between them? This could be my autobiography. Life of royalty is not uh, all it's cracked up to be. Huh? Oh, you can't imagine. You, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. You can go wherever you want to go. I wish that I could just feel that way again. Just have lunch without people staring. I can't imagine you going anywhere without people staring. What were you working on when I came in? Oh, it's uh, sort of a long piece about a women's volleyball team. Women's volleyball? Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. Have you ever seen it? No. <laughs> Completely different from men's volleyball. You know, um, with men, the game is all, oh, power, strength. You know, with women, it's more a game of uh, strategy and spirit. I mean, they, they talk to each other all the time, and sometimes this, this amazing sense of teamwork just radiates up in the arena, and their, their shoes make these funny little squeaks on the floor. <laughs> Alex 
Alex used to have that kind of passion for life. Listen, um, would you like some lunch? I'll, I'll treat you to anything you like. You name it, all right? Hot dogs? You're kidding. Oh. I got a lunch for you. Come on. the article on the Rolling Stones tour, but we just can't give Mick Jagger's number to anyone. I'm, I'm sorry. Hi. I'm back. Mullins. Frank Mullins. All right, Mr. Mullins. Just a second. I'll see if Mr. Richland is free. Hello. Talk fast. Oh, hi, sweetie. Listen, I've just reached an artistic impasse. Frank? Oh, hey, I, I better talk to him myself. Mr. Mullins, pick up the extension. Yeah. Hey, hi, Frank. Listen, uh, I, I, I'm sorry I can't see you right now. I'm playing Beat the Clock with a, with a rush assignment. Yes, yeah. Uh, how about a little bit later? Okay. Sure, Clive. Sure. Later, huh? I wanted to show him some of these other clippings. We made each other famous, you know. Oh, really? You want to see the one he took of me back when I was a paramedic? Sure. It's in all the newspapers, not just the magazines. That's the shot that won Claude the Pulitzer Prize. Well, I can see why. Happened five years ago. You know, people used to stop me on the street. Chip here. Chip there. Gotta run. Really nice to meet you. You remembered the picture. Mm -hmm. See, people never forget something good. Well, would you like a cup of coffee while you wait? You know, I really need to see you. Well, I'm sure it won't be too much longer. I need to see him now. I'll try again. Okay. Thanks. This is your best sign. You don't realize. This is your best side. Actually, it's the only side. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. M Mr. Mullins. Hello, Mr. Novodoff. What made you finally see the light? Watching you. Been here long? Oh, about an hour. I warmed up, then I did a weight training circuit. Now this? After all that, I think you'd be exhausted. Well, you're looking real good. I guess it's all coming back to you, huh? Yeah. But all I remember is it's real tough to talk while you're working out. <laughs> I see you're making friends. You have a phone call at the reception desk. Oh, gee. That's too bad. <clears throat> I sure hope I make it back. <laughs> Um, Chip called in that lab report you wanted. The vitamin E is vitamin E, and the vitamin C is vitamin C. Would you find out anything else, Angela? Uh, oh, how about this? An inert matrix. No. No, that won't do either. All right, thank you, sweetheart. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Two iron and shakes, please. Yeah, and a cup of water, please. Thank you. <sighs> These mineral pills keep getting stuck in my throat. How long have you been taking those? It's part of the fast track routine. Excuse me, Jennifer. Computer's available now. You got time to measure your progress? Okay, I'll be right there, Paul. Thanks. Okay. Uh, look, Pete, I really don't have much of an appetite. Why don't you drink both of these, okay? And I'll catch you later. Yeah, okay. Okay.
We finally did it. Oh, I'm very pleased with all of you. Yes, you've done an admirable job. You're very good people to be with. How you doing, Clark? Frank, son of a gun. Ah, I just finished. Woo! Hey. Take a load off your feet. Look at you. Ah, it's been a couple of years and a lot of water over the dam for both of us, huh? Five rotten years for me. Oh, come on now. When that picture hit the wire services, you were practically a national hero. You had it all, Pally. That is right. All went down the tubes. Everybody wanted the, the hero you photographed. I couldn't be a hero every day. All I could be was plain old Frank Mullen. Frank, I'm sorry. Look, if you're down on your luck, maybe I can help you out. What do you think? I want your charity. I want a story. I want a story that'll make me somebody just like before. I'm sorry. You're the only one ever did anything good for me. Frank, making you famous was just dumb luck. I was at the right place at the right time, and so were you. So you have an editor, don't you? Make him do a story about, uh, about what happens to a good Samaritan when nobody cares anymore. I can't ask him to do that. I work for the man. I'm afraid you're gonna have to, pal. Oh, uh, Frank. See, I'm gonna get my face back on somebody's front page. One way or another. Ooh, will you look at that? In more ways than one, you lead me on. You sweet talker, bad and crocker. Yeah, you know my weakness. I can't resist mm -mm. You leave me breathless You did it again With more than one way to my heart You sweet talker, sweet talker, sweet talker Betty Crocker Claire and I are here to announce Wendy's Where's the Beef Monday Night Football Game. Just go to Wendy's and pick up this game card with details. Keep talking. Then during each Monday night football game, we'll announce the winners of a $20,000 drawing. That big box. Butkiss. Say, what kind of name is Butkiss? Pick up a game card with details and play Wendy's Where's the Beef Monday night football game today. You could win $20,000. Boy, that's a lot of money. Tomorrow, the boys move into their new digs. Nice work, Mac. And get a feel for their new jobs. You won't be sorry. But there's trouble in paradise. All right! Hawaii and heat. Then Matt's a wanted man. You're after me for something I didn't do. Mama, we have to get Houston to his uncle. Buddy Epson joins the cast as Matt's uncle. It's the season premiere of Matt Houston after the season premieres of Benson and Webster and an all-new Hawaiian heat. Tomorrow, all starting at 8, 7 central. Glitter will continue in a moment. Baby, stay with me tonight. You've heard about it all summer. Now, Morgan Fairchild heads a high-powered fashion agency. Exactly. The premiere of Paper Dolls. Sunday at 9, 8 Central. Safeway's big Western days are on now, so we're loading up on everything. Safeway's got Western days buys on quality meats, produce, and all the trimmings. And with these low Safeway prices, it pays to stock up now. So skedaddle down to Safeway's big Western days and stock up your chuck wagon. Before Luke here gets it all. You tell him, Buck. <laughs> Safeway, America's favorite food store. Now you listen to me. 
If we lose this place, I'm going to lose what's left of my family. I'm not going to let that happen. Academy Award-winning actress Sally Field stars in a motion picture destined to take its place among the best films of the year. Now, from the Academy Award-winning filmmaker of Kramer vs. Kramer, Robert Benton, comes Places in the Heart. Rated PG. Exclusive engagement starts tomorrow, Man Brew in Westwood. Beirut bombing update tonight at 11. Frank, I, I, can, get, I can get you all the help you need. But you have to put the gun down first. Call your boss. It's a bad move, Frank. Let's talk it out. Call. I don't have anything to lose, Clyde. Because I don't have anything. Ellen, yes. uh, this is Clive. I, I need to see Hardwick right away. How about I squeeze you in right before lunch, say 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Hey, thank you. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, first you put on your jacket. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a walk together, like a couple of old buddies. Haven't seen each other in years. Don't forget your camera. Just in case. I appreciate you keeping our appointments, Your Highness, under the circumstances. We agree to meet? We meet. You've ridden before. Oh, once or twice. Just the usual security precautions. Like it or not, I am forever a fish in a fishbowl. May I presume we're on the record, Your Highness? Not yet. My wife, is she all right? Yes, she's fine. And she wants you to know that... I do not understand why she needs time to think. To think about what? Well, I imagine any American girl suddenly plopped down in a foreign country might experience a bit of what you'd call culture shock. Lisa is a princess. She must adapt. Culture shock. You make it sound like jet lag. I'm merely trying to point out that any modern woman who's suddenly placed on a royal throne with no private life and very little to do except to smile and look pretty, she might find that a little difficult to handle. Lisa told you to say that, yes? No, no, of course not, Your Highness. It was just an impression. <laughs> Tonight, for example, your president is arriving to attend a consulate dinner, followed by a press conference. It's important for my wife to be there. The image of my country depends on it. But if she's not, am I to ignore this honor? Drop everything and go shopping or beachcombing? No, of course not, but... Believe me, Miss Simpson, I wish I could do that. But I cannot. I am responsible for a nation of three million people just as it was with my father before me. Do you want Lisa back? With all my heart. I swear, I would be lost without my wife. I am lost without her. Perhaps if you could just reach out to her, to find some time to be alone together, to compromise. Ask her to come back. This is impossible. A wife of mine must choose to come back. I cannot beg. Hey, hey! Oh, hi, P. 
Pete. Gosh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I just can't seem to get started. What's the matter? Didn't you take your uh, vitamins? My vitamins? Yeah, sure. Well, I ran out of my mineral supplements, but... You think not taking those minerals, Look, maybe? Look, Jen, um, you didn't run out of them. I took them, and they're not minerals. What? They're methamphetamine. You know, speed, uppers. Those vitamin pills at the front desk are for the regular customers or nosy types like me. The good stuff is for the fast-track clients. You know, the ones that are willing to pay for fast results. Well, I can't believe this. You mean to tell me those people at the body makers had me on drugs and I didn't even know it? Oh, that's just great. So now what am I supposed to do? Look, you're only on the junk for a couple of days. Just try to catch up on some of your sleep. Oh, no. Not until I settle up with the management of that place. Oh, that burns me. You know something, Pete? I think I just got a little bit of my energy back. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, Clyde. Go right in. He's expecting you. I'll be at lunch, but Angela will take his call so he won't be disturbed. Great. I assume this is what you wanted to see me about? This is, uh, Frank Mullins. Hey, I'm sorry. I, uh, I just came here to talk to Clive, and I, uh, I didn't think it was going to go in this direction. Frank Mullins, I remember you. That photo, your face showed such concern, compassion. That child, you saved her life. What? Brought you to this. What happened after the picture, Frank? Nothing! Nothing happened. Nothing was the same either. The guys at work kind of looked at me funny like they were challenging me to do it again. Well, how do you do it again? The job offers. The job offers. I mean, stuff that I knew I was no way ready for, but what the hell? When would old Frankie boy be front page news again? So you took a new job? Yeah. Sales rep for a medical supply firm. They figured that a paramedic hero would boost their sales figures. Well, I wasn't a salesman! Who could have seen that? And my, my new wife, Janice. We, uh, we couldn't get by on the commissions that I wasn't bringing home. I just started the crumb. It just all fell apart. Ellen asked me to bring your lunch. So, Susan, it's all right. It'll be all right. Stay. Don't anybody try to be a hero. I don't recommend it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> She's going into labor. Come on. Oh. I'll call a doctor. No! No. <laughs> Nobody else comes in. Okay. 
great pair of legs can take you right to the top. We get a kick out of legs, any host. Cause our legs are great fitting right down to our toes. Our legs are tops, don't want to stop. Got the fit that's just right, so we're reaching new heights. Oh, we get a kick out of legs. The thing beats a great pair of legs. Welch's Orchard is brand new. But it's been over a hundred years in the making. A hundred years of Welch believing in the natural goodness of fruit. So Welch's Orchard has no sugar added, nothing artificial. This frozen fruit juice concentrate is 100% natural. Grape, apple grape, and harvest blend with apple, white grape, lemon, and pear. New Welch's Orchard. What makes it taste so special? Making it Welch's way. MasterCard. Fill my flat. MasterCard International. So worldly, so welcome. Your taste is impeccable. MasterCard. Home is where the card is. Roger and Edwina were never very close, but now... Ah! I can't even die right. They're two souls sharing the same body. Oh, dear. They're walking together. We obviously have mutual control over our body. Our body. It's my body. Good. Shaving together, doing everything together. I can't go in there. That's the men's room. Just shut up and do as I say. All of Me, rated PG. Starts Friday at select theaters. Check newspapers for locations. Sex education. Our children are learning and ignoring. Watch 2020 next. Ketchup, relish, mustard, onion. You're a woman after my own heart. No wonder we get along so well. Uh, um, Kate says that you were married once. Yeah? Once. Do you mind my asking? What happened? Mm-hmm. No. Uh... She was a wonderful woman. Heck, I was a wonderful guy. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> we had a wonderful son. I had a job and what I thought were my responsibilities. I don't know. Somewhere along the line, my priorities got tangled, I guess. Unkept promises. Disappointments. And I thought my problems were unique. What I think I didn't understand was how much work marriage is. You know, what a real job it is. At least I thought it was too late. It was, uh, very unhappy lesson. Sometimes I wish that... What? Never mind. No, go on. Please. Sometimes I wish... What happened to you? We didn't expect to see you for another hour. Yeah, I know. You got the record for the world's shortest interview. Not good, huh? Oh, hi. How's Alexander? Is he very angry? He is not a happy prince. He really needs you at that presidential reception tonight. And Lisa, he loves you, you know. That's what he says. But I don't seem to rate very high on his list of priorities. Look, you must have known something about what it would be like before you married me, didn't you? I met Alex in Washington at a library. I was checking out a book. He was dedicating a new wing. He asked me out to dinner. I said yes. And dinner was at a little restaurant in Malibu. We flew there on his personal jet. Sounds like something right out of a movie. 
It was just the two of us. No guards following us, no official calendar to check. How could that possibly prepare me for the reality of life in an ivory tower? I love him, I do, but I can't go back to that. Not yet, not until I sort things out. Can I ask you something? Sure. What do you want? What do I want? It's a question we all have to answer at some point. What do I really want? Yes, Ellen? It's that call from New York that you've been expecting, sir. You'll have to tell him I'm in conference. Cancel all my appointments for the rest of the afternoon, and no more calls. <laughs> can't keep her here like this. The baby's coming. Go, shut up! I told you, nobody else is coming in. Jennifer, I, uh, I have your computerized test results in the office. Oh, really? And I have yours. From the lab. Those so-called mineral pills. Now, wait a minute. Uh, look, there's, there's no point in involving a reporter in a simple misunderstanding. Sorry, pal. We're both with glitter. Oh. I guess you people would do anything for a story, huh? Yeah, including falsifying documents. Oh. You can't prove anything. My lawyers are prepared to handle cases like this. OK, fine. Then your customers can run their own tests, or they can read about the results in the next issue of Glitter. Look, Pete, there's a lot you don't understand about this business. It's viciously competitive. You need an advantage or an edge to survive. Oh, so that's your excuse. You spike minerals with dope. Then you feed them to your customers, all for some sort of competitive edge that's terrific. Let's go. No, you don't. Let's get out of here. Here's some more towels. Easy, Susan. She needs help. We can't give it to her. There's something wrong. The baby's not coming. Frank, you've got to help. All right, get somebody. Frank, you're somebody. You're a trained paramedic. You're already here. It's been four years. Everything's going to be all right now, OK? Then let your baby come. Let's get our relaxation first. Let's work on our relaxation first, OK? Once you relax, take some deep breaths. OK, now here comes a contraction. When the next contraction comes, I want you to pant, pant. Pant, that's it. That's it, OK. OK, now relax again. That's it, that's it, OK. OK, now I want you to relax. I think the next one's coming, all right? Good, now we're getting real close, you understand? OK. Panting, come on. That's it, that's it. Good girl. Good girl. Now, everything's going to be okay. I'll tell you to bend down. You bend down. All right. All right. Bear down. Bear down. Bear down.
beautiful. That's beautiful. Welcome back, Frank. It's a girl. Begging your highness's pardon. The president's plane has landed and he is en route. The president expects the princess. Will she be joining the dinner party? We're two stubborn people, the princess and I. And sir? Yes, what is it? Mr. Dillon of Glitter Magazine is here. He wishes an audience. I've already explained to him that... Show him in. Your highness. Show Mr. Dillon in. Come in, Mr. Dillon. May I offer you a drink? No, no, thanks. I, uh... Well, actually, I wondered if you'd heard anything from your wife, if anything had been decided. My wife is strong-willed. I suppose that's one of the reasons I fell in love with her. I'm, I'm sorry. I know how difficult this must be for you. I... Your Highness, the President. Leave us a moment. As you wish. Listen, uh, if it's the President, I'm... Sam. Can you find her for me? Talk to her. I'm bound by family pride. Centuries of tradition. But I love her. I love her with all my heart. Without her... Without my wife. Alexander? Lisa. I thought you might need some help with your tie. I do. Excuse me. You're... Princess. Frederick, clear our schedule for tomorrow. Sir? We must take some time to re-examine our priorities. Oh, Alex. I just love happy endings. Yeah. If you don't get out of here right now, I'm gonna scream. You won't scream. I'll scream. You won't scream. It's a fast life. Are you a virgin? It's casual. It's a low life. I love you! It's casual. It's a high life. It's a wild life. From the creators of Fast Times at Ridgemont High, The Wild Life, rated R, starts Friday, September 28th at select theaters. Hey, Billy, tell us again about your favorite meal. Yeah, come on. Come okay. On First, Mom cooks this terrific chicken. Chicken. And then, instead of potatoes, she makes stovetop stuffing. Boy, that stovetop sure smells good. The celery. The onions. Those itty-bitty herbs and spices. Chicken and stovetop stove stuffing. Stovetop. You've got stovetop. No, no, no. no stovetop stuffing. No, no, no. Ex-cons on parole. How long till the next crime? Watch 2020 next. Even a Mickey Mouse tournament should be run by judges who know what they're doing. Well, I certainly lived up to his reputation. Next, on Glitter. The tennis circuit moved on, and that was that. And that's when you found out you were pregnant.
Why does he frighten you so much? Why does a six-year-old child scare you? It's no big deal because I know it's not my kid. You must help me. The power of the press is possibly the only thing that can. Sound effects. I get ready with a gunshot. Oh, we'll kill the broad off that way. A beach volleyball game comes to an explosive end, and Mac and Andy have to find out why on Hawaiian Heat. Tomorrow at 9, 8 Central and Mountain. Then, it's the season premiere of Matt Houston, when Buddy Ebsen joins the cast as Matt's uncle to help him catch the man who framed him. Tomorrow, all starting at 9, 8 Central and Mountain. Sunday, starting at 7, watch the season premieres of Ripley's Believe It or Not and Hardcastle and McCormick.